KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. Uttar Pradesh Metro Rail Corporation UPMRC has released a notification for the requirement of assistant manager architect and the last date by the time you're watching this video probably you have already applied for the post if you have not yet applied uh, for the post do it at the earliest because 19th of april is the last date for the application for this post in this video we will be looking into the details of this particular uh, uh, requirement test the syllabus for it how to prepare and how we at kp gate classes are going to help you and prepare for this examination by upmrc that is uttar pradesh metro rail corporation first let me take you through some important uh, details of this particular notification uh, so if you look into the official notification as which I have, which you can see on the screen over here as well uh, the note, uh, the application portal is already live for, it was live from 20th of march and the last date for it uh, the last date for you to complete the application is 19th of april like i told you if you have not yet done it do it at the earliest uh, the tentative exam date so the download of admit card would tentatively be on 30th of april and the tentative exam date is going to be anywhere from 11th to 14th of may so the exam also is not very far away uh, for this particular uh, post of assistant architect or assistant manager architect so the post code over here you can see is e06 assistant manager architect is one unreserved post for this particular uh, opening and uh, the requirement over here is a five year course from a government a recognized university with 60% in your BARC that's the uh, educational requirement as far as the age criteria is considered the age limit is 28 years uh, for your for this particular post 21 to 28 is the age criteria for this particular post uh, let us also look into the details of the written test and the selection procedure as you can see over here point number two uh, the post E06 as you can see over here assistant manager architect the selection method will comprise of two stages the first stage will be a written test followed followed by document verification and medical examination so there's no interview for this post if you do well in the examination and if you have all the required criteria or if you have met all the required criteria of the requirement of educational criteria age criteria that is basically uh, something which is checked in your document verification and the medical test so if you meet these standards you can get into this particular post at upmrc uh, that's with respect to the selection procedure so you can even though it's a two-stage process you can consider that examination is going to be the crucial part over here uh, if you are meeting all the eligibility criteria for this particular post as far as the uh, written test is considered which are, as i told you it is the most important part where you will need to put your efforts for the next one month and prepare for this examination so the written test is going to have a total of 140 questions uh, it will be a computer based test uh, and th there will be a total of 140 questions of which the exam oh, so uh, the weightage of each question is not as such mentioned over here but it will be a two hour examination as you can see if i can highlight it for you so it will be a two hour examination and you'll have the 100 marks is for the non-executive category so it is 140 questions to our examination and uh, also it is important to note that there will be a negative marking of one third marks for every incorrect answer so it is important that you uh, answer and have sufficient practice of the uh, questions and answer them confidently and within those two hours span so you see there are 140 questions the time is 120 minutes so you should answer more than one question within every minute so speed is going to be a very important aspect answering questions with the required speed with confidence you'll need to put in efforts for that uh, particularly for the subjects of architecture and planning so you can go check out the further details through the official notification we will provide the link for it in the description of this video you can have a look over there if i take you to the syllabus now so let us have a look at the official syllabus which has been published on the website of the upmrc for the post of assistant manager architect so uh, the the topics cover both the topics of architecture and also planning ranging from the concepts of city planning you have housing landscape design computer aided design environmental study i'm just taking you through it in brief environmental studies in building science uh, then you have visual and urban design history of architecture 
uh, Indian history of architecture, Western history of architecture and also you have a separate topic of contemporary architecture as well. Then you have this whole topic of building services which encompass the topics of water supply, sewage treatment, air conditioning, uh, uh, the fire safety, elevator, escalator and so on. Uh, then you have building construction and management, materials and structural systems, planning theory, planning techniques, then traffic and transportation, infrastructure services and finally development administration and management which typically is a part of PTM uh, that is planning technique management generally. So that is an overview of the code structure as per the official syllabus. Now we at KP gate classes now you do not have a huge amount of time for the preparation over here. So considering the official syllabus and considering the amount of time you have tentatively the exam date will be mid of May. So considering these inputs we have designed a 25 day course where once you, once you enroll into this uh, lecture series or once you enter and en enroll into the UPMRC assistant architect course of KPA classes you will be having access to 25 folders your only duty instead of wasting time in finding out resources and understand the syllabus or where to study from you can just so to make the best utilization of the available time you can just enroll into the course one folder per day we have 25 folders day 1 till day 25 your only duty is to complete all the content given in day 1 then move on to day 2 then move on to day 3 and so on so if you can have an overview over here of the content so the content over here the the day wise uh, the course which we are providing will also include the lectures and also the test series so you will have the video lectures of every subject and at regular intervals you will also have practice tests whichever test has been allotted in a particular day make sure you attempt that practice test to gain confidence of that subject so the code structure is going to be somewhat in this manner so that it's it's targeted to complete to be done in 25 days uh, which will meet the target of the exam date if you have additional time you can probably uh, do it at a faster pace by probably doing one and a half one two days every two two folders every day so uh, day one uh, so, so basically there are if you go through the syllabus if you look at the individual subjects there are a total of 21 subjects in the official syllabus 21 distinct subjects like history of architecture western history of architecture is one subject building materials is one subject then you have uh, let us say urban planning is one subject so there are 21 different subjects and uh, lengthy subjects like say for instance you can see over here western history of architecture is distributed over three days day 9 10 and 11 now some small subjects like lighters lighting elevators escalators and climate responsive design it is together on day 7 so based on the length of the subject based on the content you will need to cover we have already organized it into individual folders ranging from day 1 till day 25 for lengthy subjects we have accommodated in more than one day as well so that's the course structure you can see I can also take you through the <coughs> web portal of us you can find out the link for the course in the description of this video itself once you click on to that you can have an overview you can have a look at the content we are providing in this course the overview of the course also is given over here so this will be for the aspirants of the assistant manager architect post the, it will be a 25 day course like I told you the study content will include video lectures and also practice tests practice tests will be provided with detailed explanation once you attempt it you can review all your examinations or uh, your practice tests then you also have the past paper of LMRC which has been updated in the form of test uh, on the same portal within this course it is also included the past LMRC paper you can also have a practice of it and understand how the questions were asked in the past time when the exam was conducted by LMRC for the same post of assistant architect uh, additional study resources and the reference documents will also be provided within this course and you also have most importantly day wise structure that is the key aspect of this course day wise structure target to be done in 25 days so whichever date you are enrolling make sure you calculate the time you have the final date of the exam uh, the exact date of the exam is not yet out tentatively it will be on 11th 12th or 14th of may so you need to target accordingly and finish it within these 20 to 25 days of time whatever it is available with you if you have an overview at the content over here this is how you will uh, also at, as of now the videos i think will be logged once you enroll into the course you can open this content and have an overview of every day so in day one there are two videos day two there is only one video and a test which you'll need to attempt day three there are three videos and one test which you'll need to complete so day wise whatever content has been allocated you'll need to complete that going on from day one till 
the complete final day that is day 25 uh, and you also have the exam details and additional resources provided over here in the separate folder where you can check out the syllabus the course structure the advertisement will also include some more pdfs for your reference where you can also study for this particular course in addition to the video lectures and the test series as i told you the past lmrc question paper along with explanations will also be available within this course so if you have applied for this post of assistant manager architect in upmrc or if you are planning it to do planning to apply uh, by the way apply it at the earliest because 16th or uh, so, uh, so 19th of april is the last day for the application if you are planning to uh, attempt this particular examination this is the best way you can complete the course within the available time you can check out the link for the course in the description of this video thank you